Welcome to our introduction to Mathematica Notebooks. In Math1C, we're going to be using Mathematica as a tool to visualize some of the three-dimensional graphing problems that we will do in this class. Before we begin using the more fun capacities of Mathematica, I think it's important to get an introduction to how Mathematica is structured and some of the basics functionalities so that as we get more advanced, you're familiar with Mathematica software. In this evaluation, we're going to talk, in this particular video, we're going to talk about how do you evaluate cells and what are some of the, com some of the commands that you can use to type math into Mathematica. What you see here is a blank uh, graphical user interface known as a, a notebook. This is the front end software that we use to type into Mathematica. What's really interesting about Mathematica is that we can type different types of input. In order to create a input to Mathematica, click anywhere on the white space and then simply type your input. Perhaps we wanted to take 32 plus 64. So I type 32 plus 64 and then this now creates an input cell. Right now you see that there's no nothing other than what I've typed and this means it's unevaluated input. Mathematica has something in the back end called the kernel which you can think about as the brains of Mathematica. We have not input this command into the brain. All we've done is kind of put it on a piece of paper waiting to be read. When we evaluate this cell, that is when Mathematica puts this into its brain and it assigns an input number and an output number. This number right here tells you that this is the 25th different command that the kernel, the brain of Mathematica, has run since I started Mathematica. Here you see that these brackets kind of highlight the different pieces. Uh, this highlights the input and then associated with in input is the output and then this is a grouping bracket that groups the input and output together. Right here this is a suggestion bar that allows um, future suggestions. So one of the things we could do is take 96 and please give me the number of factors of 96. Well there's six factors of 96. Please tell me the, the number of um, what was that? The number of distinct factors. So there's two distinct factors. I don't really need this. This is kind of a uh, above and beyond the call of duty. But it gives you a sense of how to do this. Another thing that's really interesting about thing about Mathematica is that it allows us to input mathematics in the way that we would think about it. So here we can go down to the basic math assistant palette. And what's going to come up uh, is the basic math assistant palette, and that's what you see here. So using this basic math assistant palette, I can actually type in commands. So perhaps I wanted the uh, third root of 27, and when I go to evaluate this thing, I should get 3. I could also say, please give me uh, 4 to the fifth. Um, oh, sorry about that. And then I could evaluate it and it would give me an, an output. Sometimes we don't want to use the evaluate cell commands. Instead, we'd rather do this via our keyboard. Let's pretend, for example, I wanted to take the um, fraction 40 divided by 10. Um, and I want to do this numerically. One of the thing, interesting things about this, yeah, so 40 divided by 10, what I can do is shift enter. So the shift enter command on, on a Mac actually allows me to do this. I can also hit the enter on the numeric keyboard. Um, so there are a bunch of shorthand ways to deal with this, but this should get you into the different functionalities of how Mathematica works. I can delete any of these. This is a running log, like a script in Unix, which is really kind of nice. Um, so that kind of gives you a sense of how Mathematica works. Down here you can control how big or small 
your type is. So perhaps I wanted to take four. Um, and then what's really cool is you don't have to use the Mathematica palette. So if I push Control Carrot, this will give me that kind of nice representation of a uh, exponent. I can also do, let's say, 30. I hit the Control button and I divide by six and then I can evaluate it, Shift, Enter. So this is kind of a really fast way to represent um, Mathematica notation quickly. You'll see that as we go on in our course, the math, basic math assistant will be useful for doing mathematical calculations quickly. We could also take derivatives. This is kind of an interesting thing. What if I wanted to take the derivative of x squared with respect to x? Uh, oh, I think the derivative command is actually d. So let's do this one. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, I'm supposed to tell the damn thing that I want it with respect to x. Uh, sorry about that. Look at that. Uh, this takes, allows me to take derivatives of x squared with respect to x, and it tells me that the derivative is 2x. Can you believe that? Pretty amazing, isn't it? Let's try another one. Let's take the derivative of sine of x, and we'll do it with respect to x, and we'll go ahead and evaluate that. <laughs> Um, it's kind of not fair once you know how to use this calculator how much work you can get done with it. So um, that gives you an introduction to how Mathematica is structured. We'll go ahead and use more of the functionality in Mathematica as time goes on. But the basic idea here is that you have these cells, you have inputs, you can evaluate the inputs here or you can use shift enter. For people with Windows you might want to look into what the corresponding one is. The basic math palette will give you uh, a long list of math commands and then there are a number of native Mathematica commands so commands that Mathematica has stored in its kernel that we can use to do some very very special stuff the main reason we're going to use Mathematica in this course is to graph functions and surfaces in three dimensions so we'll really focus on that Thank you so much for watching this introduction, and I'll see you in the next video.